Hey guys, in this video, we're showing you how we make our garlic aioli at our restaurant stag head. You're gonna need one whole egg, two egg yolks, at least a cup of canola oil, balsamic or sherry vinegar, salt and pepper, and roasted garlic. You wanna pre-roast this by submerging about half a cup to a cup of garlic and canola oil and then simmer it on a stove top until it becomes golden brown. And then you're gonna wanna cool it for about an hour before you make your aioli. You can use this oil in the next steps. You can make the aioli with either an electric mixer or a bowl with a whisk. A whisk is gonna take a little bit more time. But the first steps are gonna be cracking open the one egg and then adding two egg yolks. Next, you're gonna add about two tablespoons of Dijon. Begin to mix this until it becomes combined. Now we're gonna add the canola to the egg and Dijon mix as it's mixing. The trick is to add it slowly. If you add too much too fast, the aioli is gonna break. At the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can fix a broken aioli. Remember, leave any questions or comments below and we'll get back to you on those. Begin to add your balsamic or your sherry vinegar to the aioli mix. This will thin it out some, so then you're able to add more oil to thicken it again. It also adds a little bit of flavor to your preference on which you use. Now we continue to add more canola oil to our mix. This will re-thicken it. You can go between adding balsamic or water and then oil again to go thin to thick. The more you add, the more aioli you're gonna get at the end. Now that our aioli has come together to the thickness we want it, we can add our roasted garlic. The amount you add is up to you. We add probably about a half a cup to a cup of the roasted garlic to a batch of aioli. You should now have the perfect aioli. If you happen to break that aioli at the beginning, like I said, if you added too much oil too fast, this is how you fix it. Set aside the broken aioli in a separate bowl. Clean the mixer bowl that you used and restart by adding the one whole egg and the two egg yolks. Bring it up by adding the mix that you've already done, not by adding new canola. Check out our video on how to make a remoulade sauce out of using the garlic aioli we just made and subscribe to our channel to stay in the know about our recipes at Staghead.